gonna make this short and quick as the game is on but speaking of the game the nfl the super bowl will be in new orleans next year 2025 and they just just opening weekend kickoff they announced that kendrick lamar will be headlining the super bowl halftime show and here's the controversy behind that some people feel like he doesn't deserve it now my thing is he was just on the super bowl halftime show bill three years ago when he came out there with dre and snoop and all of them but they're letting him headline it this year. And it's like, well, take that up with Jay-Z. <laughs> I mean, Jay-Z's in charge of it. He he pulled the trigger on that. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with his you know, relationship with Drake. But they got Kendrick up there. And I guess you'll be hearing Not Like Us at halftime. You know what I mean? I don't really care. Personally, I'm not a really big on halftime shows. I'm just an actual football like fan. I just love the game in itself. I could care less about all that other stuff. But yeah, people are making a big fuss about it. Um, Little Wayne's manager here made a post saying that they were disappointed. They felt like Wayne should have had that spot because since it's in New Orleans, now New Orleans gets the Super Bowl like every five, six years. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. That might have been a little bit too much for white folks. You know what I mean? <laughs> there was a lot of white people upset because they sung the national black anthem the other week or uh, the other day on Thursday at the home opener. Lil Wayne coming out there with them half dead dreadlocks. I don't know if, if, if America is ready for that <laughs> personally. Uh, maybe in 2008 when he was the hottest artist on the planet. Yeah. But right now, I don't know, man. Maybe maybe Kendrick can bring out some New Orleans rappers. See, people like, open your mind. You know, Kendrick could come out there. I know he's West Coast. He could come out there and bring out a Master P or a Lil Wayne. But then again, you have to look at the grand scheme. It's a lot of sponsors, a lot of endorsements. A lot of people are watching. So you got to be careful who you book in these spots. And in Jay-Z's position, you know, he can't go, but so you, you can't do, but so much hip hop. It's got to be a little bit of a mainstream to it. You know what I'm saying? Having Lil Wayne up there, what do you think? Wayne going to come out there and spit verses from dedication too? like, be real, man. Like <laughs> it is what it is, bro. But I'm seeing a lot of outrage about this and it's like, whatever, man. But Kendrick is going to be performing at the halftime show. Uh, let me know y'all thoughts if y'all think Kendrick's worthy. Me personally, like I said, I, I could care less. I'm, I could care less about the halftime show. It's not that serious to me at all. It's the most overrated 20 minutes of entertainment that you see yearly. I remember everyone went crazy because Brianna came out there and was pregnant a couple years ago. She couldn't move. People made a big fuss about that. But let me know what y'all think. Should Lil Wayne be covering the Super Bowl in New Orleans for 2025? Or are you confident and sure with the Kendrick Lamar selection that Jay-Z and the NFL has chosen? Let me know in the comments. I'm out.